Good evening. We are learning more about that deadly van rampage that claimed the lives of 10 people on Monday as police continue their investigation into why and how this happened. They say there are also more victims who were injured in that attack. But first, Toronto police have released the names of the victims who lost their lives that day. They range in age from 22 to 94. We can tell you that all victims have been identified and their families have been notified. In the last few days, we've been sharing stories about some of the victims struck and killed on Monday by alleged suspect Alec Manassian. Toronto Police confirming today the victims are eight women and two men. The majority called Toronto home, including 83-year-old Geraldine Brady. Andrea Braden was from Woodbridge. Munir Abdul Habib Najer, an 85-year-old visiting from Jordan. And Jihoon Kim, a 22-year-old woman from Korea who was studying in Toronto. It's everybody has suffered a terrible tragedy, a total, totally unexpected, unspeakable tragedy that is unimaginable to everybody. And essentially, that's what I've heard from the coroners who have been speaking with the families. It was initially reported that 14 people were injured in the attack. They range in age between 23 and 90. And today, police say there are two additional victims who received injuries but weren't transported to hospital. They've come to us as part of the investigation. I can advise that. Um, the two new victims are a 21-year-old male and a 67-year-old female. Investigators have been rummaging through hundreds of videos and witness accounts. And through that, police say they now know the route taken by that rider van, saying it started on Young Street, one block north of Finch, eventually mounting curbs and sidewalks at Churchill, then veering into northbound lanes. The vehicle turned into laneways on Young and then on Beecroft Ave, traveling southbound past Shepherd. The vehicle was then stopped on the north sidewalks of Point Ave, just 50 meters west of Young. Investigators executed a search warrant at the Richmond Hill home. Manassian has lived with his brother and two parents. Investigators say they've seized items from the home. At this point, police say there's no evidence that this was an act of terror, but the RCMP is involved in this investigation. There are also questions about the rented rider van that was driven that day. Police aren't saying if it was Manassian who rented the vehicle. I, I can tell you that we believe the van went from where it was rented to the, directly to Young Street. And the suspect, Alec Manassian, is facing 10 charges of first-degree murder. And because of the additional uh, victims announced today, Toronto Police say they're expecting to lay more charges. So he will be expected to face 16 counts of attempted murder. The 25-year-old is expected in court next on May 10th.